this is what I did with the rocks. And I started off with the two swirl things at the bottom. And I made them equal. And then I started thinking a lot more about the whole idea of equality. And I decided to make the whole entire picture equal. But then I started also thinking about how nothing can truly be equal because everybody's different in their own way. So I made this thing in the center, this swirly thing, and I knew that I thought about it differently than anybody else could ever think about it because I made it. So I see it as black that fades into white and then around it is like the opposite color to like enhance like what it looks like but I know that everybody else just sees it as like just like white like just like a black swirl and then a white swirl on the side of that and so then I started thinking about how even though everybody has like the same like everybody looks the same generally and everybody like has the same things that happens like some everybody's gonna have something bad happen to them in their life I know like some people don't have things that happen to them that are as bad as other people but to them it's still bad for them and it doesn't make and just because other, th other people have things that are worse doesn't make their situation any less worse so then I, so then I made this story about it so, once upon a time, there was a princess who was locked up in a tower from the time she was born until her 18th birthday. The girl was very intelligent and she read a lot and had a lot of opinions and unique point of views on nearly every topic. She looked down onto, the, onto her kingdom every day and saw people, different people from everywhere in the kingdom, and they were all separated into different groups. She couldn't figure out why, though. One day, she looked down onto her beautiful kingdom, which she had ever only seen through her binoculars. And when you look at something through her binoculars, she could only see one person at a time. So she saw every single person's unique beauty and how they are. She didn't see them for something bad that they had said before or like something horrible. She just saw them as different people and every person has their own beauty. So one day though, she looked down onto this kingdom, and she saw them fighting, and she saw fires and weapons and evil and just not, and they were all arguing and, like, trying to kill each other, and it was so bad, and she just could not understand why anything would happen like that, because God had given them everything that they needed. They had good farming soil, they had everything, and they should all just be happy in this kingdom, nothing was wrong. So one day, she went down into the kingdom after her 18th birthday, and she went to go see, like, why everything was bad that was happening, and nobody would tell her, because she was the princess, and she was supposed to be sheltered, and nothing was supposed to be bad to her, and she was supposed to just see everything as good, and because she was royalty. And so she felt like she was being treated differently than everyone else, and she because she was just a princess and she was just born into that life but she didn't have she didn't decide it at all nobody else really nobody can ever really decide what their future is, like from when they're born like what they can be born into and so she gave up her position as princess because she thought that every single girl should be a princess because that's how it should be because every person is special in their own way the end. Thank you.